They say confidence is silent while insecurities are loud. Body language expert and author Tanya Ryman joins us now with a look at messages we are sending without even saying a word. Yes. Hey, Tanya, welcome Hi. back. Thank you. Hi, Tanya, what does insecurity look like in our body language? It starts off when people are like slumped over and they're avoiding eye contact purposely. Mm -hmm. And maybe they're orienting their body away. They're putting up barriers, you know, instead of being open, open and have yep. good body language, mm -hmm. you're sitting there like this. You know, mm. things that demonstrate that they don't want to engage and are not willing to engage. Mm -hmm. So one of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years is if you meet someone and you just line your right eye up with their right eye, that engagement, that interaction gets processed in the left intellectual brain as opposed to being processed in the right brain, the emotional brain, where we feel fear, anxiety, stress. So if we can engage with someone on that left side and have it done just pretty much as an intellectual meeting, that starts the conversation off in a much calmer fashion than it normally would. I like to look people right in their eyes. Is that too much? Yeah, well, there's two things. First thing is you have to realize eye, eye contact is very cultural, so you want to make sure you're not offending the individual. Okay. Mm. okay. In addition, you want to make sure you're not stalker staring them. And what I mean by that, right? <laughs> yeah. So, what? Yeah. So, yes, quite man. often. You can be my, a stalker. <laughs> I just want to get in here and say that Vivica has excellent eye contact. Contact. Whenever I have conversation with Vivica, I always know that I she's paying she attention. Right. I don't think it's stalker. <laughs> that, you know, it can be a little intimidating when right. people just. You're not saying stare, you guys. But I'm not. Okay, I like walking to somebody like. You hey, said hey, hey. their point. <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, I mean, it's just that if I'm talking to you, right. like yeah. how we're speaking now, right. I want You're you to know attentive. that I'm talking to you. That right. I'm not talking over here and looking over there. So you know, girl. So uh huh. Right. I think that's rude. There's like, two I, points. I, it bothers me. If someone's trying to touch me, I'm like, I'm over here. Yeah. There's two things you have to realize. The first thing is, normally we're comfortable with eye contact when people are blinking at a natural, normal rate, which mm -hmm. is roughly like 20 blinks per minute. What winds up happening sometimes is people don't blink, and that's when we get that stalker, stalker. feel. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, aside yeah, no. from Why aren't they blinking, Tanya? Well, some people, believe it or not, don't blink as often. Some people blink once and twice a minute instead of wow. 20, 30 times a minute. Now I'm but, thinking my blinking. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I just blink so many times. Right now. We talk it's about rapid away. blinking, right? And that makes somebody look anxious and yeah, insecure. Okay. So you okay. want to have, an, obviously, a conversation where you know that you feel good, so you're blinking at a normal, natural rhythm. The other thing is you have to start the conversation holding eye contact mm -hmm. and then try to keep the conversation going with that eye contact. In saying that, though, it's much easier for somebody who's uncomfortable in their own skin to learn to look like and the eye nose triangle, Ooh, I right? Question. 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 Go ahead. You, Vivica. Question. Question. Uh, so what about people that feel insecure if, if like, say they walk into a room and people are more attractive than them. Listen, there's always going to be somebody who's better looking. There's always going to be somebody who's more confident. So you have to make sure that you have the self-esteem, and that takes practice.